protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, a motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's a swiving soldier's life! Taking orders, smash your foe! Coin and country, there, your wife! And a long road at your toe! Look alive, men! Hail to the king! Where the hell are we headed? To what the fuck do we want? Victory! This I like! Eyes on the bridge! We're nearly there! Weapons at the ready! That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Temeria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick.
Stand your ground! Last Phoebus! Stand your ground! Guess they'll never learn. Your ground.
Kill the Witcher! Ugh. 